Pisces, what's up? Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to the channel. I'm Deborah. This is Purusha Intuitive, and we're doing your weekly reading. <laughs> so welcome, guys. I hope whew, all is well in your world. I hope things are moving fluidly. The energy's been a little bit wonky. We're coming up on a full moon. So things are going to be intensified, magnified. I'll probably upload a um, astrology video around it. I just haven't done it quite yet, but I'm working on it. All right. So the axe is coming out. Things are being removed from our life, right? The things that really aren't serving us. This is kind of just... Ju um, let me slow down. <laughs> this has been a general theme in a lot of the readings this week. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Places that we self-sabotage. Almost like talking ourselves into something, you know. Um, and I feel like sometimes, Pisces, that's easy for you to do. Like, we all do it. We all have ways where we, like, rely too much on the BS tapes that we play in our head, you know. But we don't want to talk ourselves into something that's not specifically true. So, you know, and like I said, it can be easier. I get this 100% with a lot of water in my chart, like getting sucked into those emotions, the fears, right? It's very easy to do, but we want to make sure that we're tempering that energy, um, you know, tempering that energy, Maybe someone was self-sabotaging towards you because your initial card obviously is this not enough. Like you're not feeling like this relationship, friendship, partnership, business partnership is really going in the way that you wanted it to. It could have seemed one way and now other things are coming out. There is some self-sabotage in this energy as well. Um, but you know, I don't know if it's like a bad thing because like I said, it's kind of being coupled with this healing heart. And I, I, as I <laughs> picked that up, the camera was two, two, two. And this really speaks to how, even though, like, even if we do like quote unquote self-sabotage something. It was meant to be that way is what I'm hearing. Like, I feel like this kind of had to fall apart in order for you to find that healing. Yeah. I think this is also, you know, the mirroring effect is a very hard truth because I think, especially in relationships, it's so easy to point the finger, to blame, to project, to justify because so-and-so did this, that, said this, that, the other. But it's also about like, usually, <laughs> well, actually I think it's like 100% of the time, what's happening is that person is mirroring something back to us, whether it's that same belief within ourselves, or it's the fear that's driving us, that's motivating us. This is a lot about the way that you look, not wanting to be seen in a certain way. 333 three, three was on the clock when I looked when I did that. And you know, it's funny, Pisces, because you've had this energy of ascension in previous readings. And so it's that value. Like sometimes we have to go through the mucky stuff, the toxicity, in order to level up, right? And that's exactly what you're doing. I feel like you're leveling up though in a way that's a lot more present and in tune with yourself, your own wants and needs. Everyone's situation is going to be different, um, but as long as the energy resonates, then this is obviously meant for you. I also do personal readings, guys, energy healings, uh, wellness consults. I love supporting. If you need help with your, um, you know, whatever you have going on, I'm here. I'm here to help you make those healthy choices, right? Heal your heart <laughs> through holistic wellness. <laughs> All right, guys, let's dig a little deeper. So I like this for you, Pisces, because it's really helping you a lot. Yeah, dude, this just popped out. It's helping you align with what's not enough. And that's exactly this Knight of Cups, Page of Cups energy. You could be dealing with another water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
Um, but this is really just someone who didn't have a lot of follow through. You know, it was a lot of the right words, um, saying the right things, making you feel the right kind of way. But when it came to action follow through, it really just like wasn't presenting. You know, they weren't able to step up to the plate, put their money where their mouth is. What? <laughs> because they're, and it makes sense. There's a lot going on. Two of Pentacles is when you know, we're in the grunt and grind of life. And we all know modern life is pretty chaotic, pretty busy. You could be dealing with a masculine energy, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone who's very um, just analytical, like not really um, taking into account the emotional factors. I feel like almost having a hard time with how busy your life is because you're vibing in this way of being on top of your game on point you know you're really working with the energies of life to manifest and bring your goals into the physical world and I feel like this person was like annoyed with <laughs> you know that's how I hear it like kind of just like this again or like almost like I don't know I don't feel like they were too available but I feel like they're more available than you are and maybe you had to choose work or you know other things over them and I feel like they kind of took it personally yeah because you are like bringing in your fortune your abundance the wheel of fortune baby what what love that energy I think it's you know the blessing and the curse, we're going from 10 to 20, is that yes, you're working and you're bringing in abundance, but that does come at a cost, at a sacrifice. And a lot of times when we have to take attention away from our relationships, things start, you know, that fell through the cracks start coming out, you know, they start bubbling to the surface, <laughs> finding their you know, rearing their pretty little head or not so pretty little, <laughs> right? And I feel like some of this stuff has come up. Um, is this you? Okay, uh, this is just like you kind of protecting what you're building. But I do think it's coming at the cost of your happiness, right? Like... And no shade to you. I I hear this as like this is something that you you had to do right now because there was a lot going on, you know. And if you have a partner, the idea is that they will be understanding of the circumstances of the situation. I'm not really sure that this person was. It doesn't really feel that way. They wanted your attention. They were jealous over you not being able to show up as much for them. Maybe trying to look at things diplomatically. Not really being able to do so. Why were they stressed out though? I mean, this is like, to me, this is like them stressing over, uh, I see, what is it going to look like someday, you know? If this is love relationship, then this is someone stressing out about all the things that you have going on. Maybe afraid that you won't be able to be as available for family if you had kids or something along those lines. Maybe some of this conversation came out. A little bit of a shell shock for you. Maybe you're the harder worker in this situation. I think a lot of this was their own fear. The Seven of Cups, like, it's that energy where some of the stuff, you know, it is a lot, it's a very fantasyful energy, right? Like, look at how she's reflecting, her head is in the clouds type thing. And in the traditional deck, some of the cups are filled with, like, good things and some are filled with scandalous things. And, you know, it's kind of like when... Our mind, again, like I was saying before, can get the best of us. And that's definitely how their energy feels. And so, you know, this person is really kind of laying down the law. We've had this a lot lately. This very, like, masculine energy. This is 
the emperor it's yang energy it's ruled by aries so lots of fire structure rigidity because it doesn't feel like a balanced aries energy i'm not gonna lie they're refusing to like they're ref i feel like they're kind of refusing to look at the future is what i'm hearing that it's not always going to be this way yeah they're choosing to look more at the conflict versus like, this is just what it is right now, you know? Like, that's the thing about life. It ebbs and flows. Sometimes we have periods of just being really busy, not having a lot of time, energy, space for those in our life. And then sometimes we have more freedom, right? Mm. I think you both need to kind of take a look at yourselves from this experience, especially with this mirroring energy. The things that you might be complaining about with this other person and vice versa, I feel like it's saying like really see where that is within yourself because there is this potential to manifest exactly what you want, but it takes time, right? I think that that's a thing, and I get this. Like, I feel like sometimes, like, the physical world can move very slow, right? Physical energy, it's, it's earth energy. It's the most dense, you know? So we can intuit something, which is spiritual energy, which is light, and, you know, it's ether and air, so it has a lot more fluidity to it than like a, a rock, you know, or a pile of mud, you know what I mean? And so that being said, it's like we have to remember that, you know, in the physical reality, our day-to-day -day life, things take time. And it's actually putting the energy and intention into how you guys want to build this thing. Yeah, making a plan of action, you know, if... If you can't see each other a lot right now, then figure out, okay, I hear what you're saying. How can we set aside time for a date night? Or, you know, if it's like a friend or, you know, I mean, I obviously everyone's situation is going to be different. But however this shows up for you, you know, it's kind of like taking the reins a little bit more. There's that fire energy again. Yeah, I don't know. This person's having a really hard time with this, though. I feel like this might be, uh, yeah, ooh, yep, 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 yep. This is kind of a blow to their ego, guys. So I feel like you're dealing with someone who probably just isn't very mature about this whole thing. Maybe they've put off a front like they are, but they're, they're putting too much time, energy, and worry into the things that, like, aren't even true, number one, and really don't matter long term. It's almost like an excuse. Yeah, dude. And it's like, I just uh, cut to the rope. So it's like boundaries. They're putting up the boundaries that are actually like inhibiting their own um, wish fulfillment. So I, I feel like you're dealing with someone where like, yeah, there's a lot of great things about this connection ar around this relationship. But they're too stuck in their ways. They're too stubborn to recognize. They're more concerned about winning. Maybe they really didn't have the same intentions that they had kind of talked about before, right? Like maybe they said a lot of this, you know, like a lot of BS, a lot of smoke and mirrors where really they're just trying to get out of it, you know? And I'm sorry, I know, I'm sorry, like I don't mean that, that could be for some of you, but I just feel like this person, like I said, they're not as mature. They still have some exploring to do within themselves. That makes a lot of sense, right? Like it's so important for us to know who we are, know where we get our livelihood, our power, empowerment, etc. Because that's what fuels us, right? Not another person, not a material thing. They're nice to have, for sure. They like our ego gratifying, but they're not what sustains us, you know? And this person doesn't know 
how to be fulfilled in other things. You know what I mean? I feel like they might, this is kind of where that codependency is coming into play. They might be relying on you way too much. And for you, it's safe. You know, it's, um, it's probably a good feeling. It's comforting, you know, but why, <laughs> like you kind of have to look at that with a microscope with that fine tooth comb. Why aren't you challenging it? Is it just because it's comfortable and you don't really want to move outside of it? And are you going to put up with the BS? Are you going to put up with someone demanding that you're there 24-7 or whatever it is? Especially when you don't have the time, space, energy to do so. You're trying to keep everyone happy for sure. But it's also making you shut down a little bit more as well. Which, you know... I think as you see this, like we talked about, as you understand this better, it is really opening up the door for your ascension and really choosing healthier things for yourself that are in more of an alignment. That nest energy is at the bottom of the deck, which really is about you cultivating that home, that comfort, that safety, that peace. So I hope this helps, Pisces. I'm sending so much love and blessing to whatever you're navigating through. I would love to help, support in whatever way possible. I do readings, energy healings, wellness consults. Um, so hit me up if you're interested. I love supporting in whatever way. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, resonated, definitely thumbs up. Drop comments below. Let's build and grow the community. All right, guys, lots of love, many blessings. Have a great evening. Thank <laughs> you.